what was going on in the late 17th century to the very beginning of the 18th century here in South Berwick. How did they live? How did they deal with the French and Indian Wars? It's a huge problem for the people of Maine, and it's just fascinating to learn more about it. Archaeology and, and, uh, has been using GPR and other geophysical techniques for uh, quite a number of years. As a result, it's getting more and more frequently incorporated into a lot of archaeological research designs, um, archaeological field schools like this. Working with the, the ground penetrating radar helps you be more efficient with your field time. So essentially, you can isolate areas or specific features that you take a lot more time, obviously, with a series of test bits. A little tighter, okay, good. We can map the area better and look for features that would help us with the dig. That's what's most important, is that we're digging where there's something significant. What we've been doing is, is gridding off um, areas that uh, Neil's interested in and doing a large area coverage survey. This used to be a tavern, so like trying to find out where the foundation of the tavern is really is beneficial because then we'll find more artifacts. A structure like this, you know, back in the, at the time it was, it was in use in the uh, late 17th and early 18th century, wouldn't have just been one building but a collection of buildings in the area. And so the idea of getting a sense for where those buildings are so that Neil can study them with excavation and really get an idea, kind of a picture of what life was like for some of these early settlers. The answers to those questions are you know, just beneath the grass out here. I was fascinated to watch them walk around with those machines and just pick up what's going on underneath. I didn't even know this was possible. So if you come close, what you're looking at is a top-down plan view of this area. It's about 30 by 40 feet. The bright colors are the strong reflections. So that in this case might mean something like, you know, jumbles of stones or, or a compacted area. You saw the graph or whatever was produced from the radar and you could start seeing certain little anomalies and it would be a case of, well, this looks like a dead zone, let's not waste our time here. But obviously, this looks like there's a good possibility. Dig. I found um, a piece of date that had a partial date and the Spanish cross on the back. Um, so that's how we knew it was Spanish in origin. It probably came up from the Spanish colonies. <laughs> it's an exciting thing to find, and, but we're all finding exciting things. This is a tool that we've had, um, the field as a whole, to you know, basically do a better job of telling the story of whatever site you're looking at, whether it's a, a modest, home, you know, isolated homestead out in northern New England or a spectacular uh, Mesoamerican site down in Central America, um, they all benefit from, from work like this.